Hi friends, my name is Lauren and I work at Paramount Networks. That company is a company that makes television and movies. Today I'm here to read to you and my book is called Just Ask. See, can you see the, the front page? This is written by Sonia Sotomayor and the pictures are drawn by Rafael Lopez. So see the front and this is the back. See all the children there? Let's start. Let's look at the pictures first. Okay, great. Let me read to you. Hi, I'm Sonia. My friends and I are planting a garden. Gardens are magical places. Thousands of plants bloom together, but every flower, every berry, and every leaf is different. Each has a different smell, different color, different shape, and different purpose. Some flowers need lots of sunlight. Others thrive in the shade. Some have to be trimmed regularly, while others are better off left alone. Some trees and flowers are more fragile, and others are more hardy. Kids are all different, too. Some of us are in a hurry, and others take more time. Some of us seem shy and quiet, while other, others are chatty and loud. Some of our differences are easy to spot. Others take longer to notice. Each of us grows in our own way. So if you're curious about other kids, just ask. What are you guys like? Do you like being quiet or you like being loud and noisy? Here are the pictures on the next page. Now let me read it to you. Not everyone is comfortable answering questions about themselves but I don't mind. What am I doing? Several times a day, I prick my finger to measure the sugar in my blood, and I give myself shots of medicine called insulin. I do this because I have diabetes and my body doesn't make insulin naturally like other people. Even though this can sometimes hurt, I gather all of my courage to do it to, do it to be healthy. Do you ever need to take medicine to be healthy? Are any of you taking medicine? Here's the next page. Let me read it to you. I do. My name is Raphael, and I have asthma, which means I sometimes have trouble breathing. When that happens, I take a break and use an inhaler with medicine to make breathing easier. Quiet times make me slow down and catch my breath. My inhaler is like a tool to help my body. Do you use a tool to help your body? Do any of you? Here, look at the pictures again. Let me read it to you. This is the next page. Let's look at these pictures. I'm Anthony, and I use a wheelchair to get around. Even though I can't run with my legs, I can go super fast. How do you get from place to place? This is Anthony right here. He's using a wheelchair. Let's go to the next page. You want to see the pictures? Here you go. My name is Madison. And my God guide dog, Lucky, helps me to get places safely because I'm blind. My friend Arturo is blind too. He uses a cane to get around. Even though we can't see, we strengthen our other senses and notice lots of details others may miss. We can hear with our ears, smell with our noses, and feel with our hands. How do you use your senses? I use this one to smell things. Let's go to the next page. Here, let's look at the pictures. I'm Vijay. I learn about the world differently because I can see, but I can't hear. I'm deaf. Most of the time I communicate with people using my face and hands through sign language. It's cool to know another language. I also love reading and writing. What about you? Do you guys love reading and writing? I love reading. Let's look at the next page. You want to see the pictures?
I'm Bianca and I have dyslexia. So I have to work really hard and take my time when I'm reading and writing words. Sometimes I use computer programs to help me. I love learning by doing things. My imagination is full of ideas and I'm very good at making art from pictures I see in my mind. Are you really good at something? What are you guys good at? You wanna look at these pictures? There's a rainbow in this one. I'm great at dinosaurs. I know all about them. I'm Jordan and I have autism. Organizing and counting all my toy dinosaurs again and again makes me feel calm. My classmate, Tiana, also has aut uh, autism, but it's different for her. She doesn't talk, but I like to talk. I especially like to talk about dinosaurs. What do you guys like to talk about? For me, listening comes more easily than talking, and I'm a really good listener. My name is Anne, and I speak with a stutter, so I sometimes repeat a word or get stuck when I try to say it. It, takes, it may take me a little longer to express myself, and sometimes I'm too shy to talk, but I understand everything that's going on. Do you ever wonder if people understand you? Here's the pictures for this one. I do. My name is Julia. Sometimes I wiggle or make sounds that I can't control because I have Tourette syndrome. People may look at me funny because they think I am not paying attention or just acting out, but it's not true. I am listening. I don't always like having to explain. It frustrates me, but it helps when I tell people that it's just what my body does. Do you ever feel frustrated? Here, let's look at these pictures. Now let's read. My name is Manuel, and I have Attention Deficit Hyperactivity Disorder. It is also called ADHD. I can get frustrated when I feel the need to move around, even though I'm supposed to sit still. When my teachers and friends are patient with me, if I forget something or get distracted, I can get myself back on track. What's helpful to you? You see the squirrel on this page? Here, I'm gonna read it. I'm Noah. It's helpful to me when the food I eat has a clear label that says it is nut free because I'm allergic to nuts. They can make me so sick that I would have to go to the hospital if I ate any, even by accident. So I always tell people about my allergy and ask if any food has nut ingredients. Speaking up keeps me help healthy. How do you use your voice? See the birds in this one? Here, I'll read this page. I love to sing and I love to talk. I love to make new friends and be included. I am Grace. I was born with Down syndrome. Kids like me with Down syndrome have an extra building block called a chromosome in our bodies, but we are all different from each other too. I can do almost anything any other kid can do, though learning new things can take some time. One way I learn is to ask questions. What helped you learn? I think this is the last page. So let's take a look at these pictures. See all the kids? Everyone looks different in this one. It's me, Sonia again. I ask questions too. When something seems different or new, I just ask my parents or my teachers and they help me to understand, especially if my friends don't feel ready to explain. This is what I've learned. Imagine if all the plants in this garden were exactly the same, 
Like, what if we only could grow peas? That would mean no strawberries or cucumbers or carrots. It might also mean no trees or roses or sunflowers. Just like our garden, all the ways we are different make our neighborhood, our whole world really, more interesting and fun. And just like all of these plants, each of us has unique powers to share with the world and make it more interesting and richer. What will you do with your powers? That was really good. Thank you guys for listening.